Hi everybody, welcome to the Astrology Chat for January 21st, 2023. The keys for today are to allow yourself to just breathe and settle in with the major shifts that have happened yesterday and allow yourself to seek communication and understanding with yourself and with other people. The aspects of today allow and favor for you to continue to develop your ability to have nuanced conversations, not jumping to a solid conclusion or a solid course of action, but rather allowing yourself to take in information and see where you're at and make adjustments. And if you allow yourself to make these adjustments within yourself and with other people, you're overall, again, continuing to support the process of your character development and showing up authentically in your relationships and with yourself. I say this because we have the moon in Gemini. The moon in Gemini is about our brothers and sisters. It's communication. It's short distance travel. This is a house of Mercury. So your mind is active. Your desire to connect the thoughts and take in information and share it or express it with other people is also active. Now, the moon in Gemini is making it in conjunction to Mercury in Capricorn and Mars in Capricorn. And so that Capricornian energy, especially with all of these shifts that we've had going on, is really calling for you to mindfully and intentionally create new systems and new traditions in your life and so where maybe you would just jump to a conclusion instead of asking questions you can ask questions where you may have just like bulldozed over somebody or something to get your goal you can learn how to be more cooperative vice versa if you don't express who you are what you think this is a good time to start practicing and if you allow other people or other things to stop you from pursuing what you really want to pursue this is a really good time to practice and heal why you do that and to take those actions step by step there is a call tonight not jump so fast especially since again we've had pluto that's now moved into aquarius we have the sun that's now in aquarius we have a lot of shifting energies and it's okay to take your time to understand to process and to communicate what that means to yourself and with other people. We do have the moon in sextile to both the north and to the north node and to Chiron that's in Aries. And so there is this opportunity to heal yourself by showing up authentically with other people. There's also an opportunity to develop uh, empathy and understanding that other people are also working out their own things. And if there's just this overall energy of letting people show up who they are and not to seek perfection or an absolute, absolute ending or beginning for the process, then there's opportunity for growth and healing. Now on the flip side, if you do encounter people who don't wanna learn those lessons, that just wanna like stick to their old ways or don't wanna allow for nuance or don't have their hearts and minds open, walking away from those situations, those people and places and things are going to be healing with you for you, especially with that sextile to Chiron and to the North Node, because you're staying true to yourself. And as we are now officially in the age of Aquarius, one of the lessons that's going to keep coming up or the question that's going to keep coming up is, are you being true to yourself? Are you wearing a mask? And are you in situations and with people and in places that you have to wear a mask? And if so, why? Um, allow yourself to take those steps to walk towards your authentic self and to walk towards the tribe and the community that really heals and feeds you. I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow.